Hey there, personal injury doctors. If you're looking for the ultimate value driver for these personal injury cases, there is nothing that drives the value of a case higher in 2023 than having a TBI protocol in your office. A TBI protocol, the diagnosis of a concussion or traumatic brain injury, can add six figures, even seven figures, to the settlement offers to the PI attorneys. So I've been talking to a lot of personal injury attorneys over the course of the past couple of weeks, and I asked them, tell me about this diagnosis of TBI protocol. When you see a diagnosis and the protocol is, is done correctly, and there's two main things, you have to have an FDA approved device uh, that does a scan, and the scan has to be interpreted by a medical neurologist. So if you have those two ingredients in your TBI protocol, you're on the right track. The personal injury attorneys that I talk to, some of them are billboard attorneys, some of them are mid-level attorneys, I wanna to talk to the whole gamut. They're getting very little pushback on the diagnosis of TBI and concussions from the insurance companies. They don't wanna mess with the head and the brain on these cases. One of the attorneys mentioned that it's really not part of the Colossus software. Colossus is the insurance software most of the insurance companies use. It's been duplicated and rebranded to 20 different types of software for the insurance companies, but it all stemmed from that Colossus software. Uh, so very little pushback on this diagnosis, meaning the attorneys are getting paid on their settlements. And if your patient does have a moderate or mild TBI, those don't resolve in 30 or 90 days like a soft tissue injury sprain strain. A diagnosis of a concussion could last for years. Those symptoms can last five, 10, or even 20 years. So stop saying maximum medical improvement <laughs> because that person may need ongoing care. The patient with a mild TBI or a moderate TBI, at the end of the case, you've submitted all your bills, documentation of the attorney, all your musculoskeletal treatment uh, has ended, you've sent your bill and all the documentation to the attorney. And the attorney sees that there's a TBI in the diagnosis. A personal injury attorney can then hire a certified life care planner. A certified life care planner can look at all the medical documentation, interview all the doctors that saw the patient, also interview family members. That's very important. I'll come back to that in just a second. And, a, a, and review all the medical records and they can put together a report. Sometimes it's a 30 page report. And at the end of the report, it's gonna have a number. And that number is going to be directly related to the amount of care that this patient may need over the next five to 20 years. They may need 36 neurological visits. They may need uh, 15 years of physical therapy. They may need multiple neuropsych evaluations over 15 years. And that number could be $200,000, $500,000. It could be $2 million of ongoing care, depending on the severity of the TBI. And so the attorneys are submitting those bills to get paid. So let me ask you, if you're a chiropractor or a physician and you take personal injury cases and the guy down the street has a TBI protocol, which practice looks more attractive to personal injury attorneys to send their client to? The one with the TBI protocol where they can get a six or seven figure settlement offer or the commodity chiropractor down the street, sprain, strain, whiplash, myositis, myalgia guy? Well, nine out of 10 times, the doctor with the TBI protocol is gonna get the case because it has so much value for the personal injury attorneys based on that diagnosis. Because again, concussions and traumatic brain injuries don't heal in 90 days or six months. So going back with the certified life care planner interviews the family members because the insurance company, in either a deposition or a private interview, may ask the patient with the TBI, do you have any symptoms? Are you still having headaches or uh, any pain or anything associated with your concussion? And the patient may say, no, I'm not. I'm really, I'm fine. But when the certified life care planner interviews the family members, the spouse may say this person is not fine. Uh, he or she just woke up last night to go to the bathroom, but they went to the bathroom in the closet. Or uh, they got up to go to work uh, yesterday, got dressed in their full suit. Uh, yesterday was Sunday. They don't work on Sunday. So interviewing the family members is very important because the patient may not be aware of other things that are going on in their life that are, that are not right because they have cognitive deficits. 
from their concussion. So in closing, if you wanna be a more attractive chiropractic or physician office in personal injury, more attractive to these attorneys who are sending cases out, and these attorneys get hundreds, the billboard attorneys have two to 4,000 cases going on at one time, the mid-level law firms have one to 2,000 active cases going on at one time, and the boutique attorneys, they have a few hundred active injury cases going on at one time. So the work is out there. But if you're able to communicate to these attorneys that you have a huge value driver, such as a TBI protocol, it's going to make you the go-to doctor in your city and personal injury. So if you want more information, personal injury marketing, a TBI protocol, or anything else to help you figure out what your point of differentiation is in the personal injury market to help you get more clients, uh, well, first of all, like and subscribe to this video. Subscribe. Uh, to my YouTube page. I create a personal injury marketing video every single week. So like and subscribe. Uh, secondly, in the description below, uh, there's an opportunity to either set up a 45 minute Zoom call with me or I can show you a process to build your personal injury practice. Or there's also a link to set up a 15 minute brief phone call. Just have a chat about some personal injury. And if you wanna move on to a Zoom call to see if I can help you get more PI uh, patients, uh, we can do that as well. So like and subscribe to the video. Thank you so much for uh, listening today and we'll see you next time.